Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal had taken a break from Washington politics this morning. He joined a group of volunteers reading to kids in the Elm City. News 8's Brian Spiros tells us what it was all about. The summer vacation is still in session, but today these kids are getting schooled. To make sure that the children are reading and writing and not falling behind. All of it part of a read in through LEAP, a nonprofit that trains students to work with younger children on a wide range of topics, one of them being literacy, something that's critical this time of year. So the summer slide is when our children throughout the summer don't want to do anything and they, they slack on reading, they slack on their abilities at school and then they come back into school with maybe even lower reading levels that they have leaving school in the beginning of the summer. 500 campers taking part in today's event. It was supposed to be held on the green, but because of the weather, everyone is spread out at different locations across the city. I like reading sometimes, but I don't read that much at home, but my favorite books are like sports. Details, history. New Haven Mayor Tony Harp and Senator Richard Blumenthal, some of the readers at the Clinton Avenue School. Here's something people may not know 30% of adults in New Haven are illiterate, which is why events like this one are so important when it comes to educating children in hopes of changing that statistic down the road. Sometimes, you know, because you can speak the language, you say, oh, that's enough. No, you actually have to be able to write it and read it to be able to go to college and, and be able to reach those scholarships. Thursday, also National Summer Learning Day, a chance for parents to keep their kids engaged while on vacation. Whether that be a magazine, whether that be a, a, a book, um, or if it's just an article, continue reading no matter what. Reporting from New Haven, Brian Spiros, News 8.